Hey everyone, in this video, we will find out just how good a DIY brick oven is for making pizza. We took a shot at building one because it seemed like a fun experiment. We were curious to see just how effective this oven could be, especially since the cost was relatively low. So we headed to our local Home Depot so that we can gather all the materials we needed. We picked up 50 of the 4x8 inch clay bricks at 95 cents each, 16 of the 4x4 inch paver bricks for 88 cents each, and two large 24x24 inch paver stones at $8.98 each. All those added cost $79.54, and after tax, the total cost came to $85.30. Now, that price is a bit on the higher side because these are California prices. If I had bought these materials back home in Arizona, it would have cost me about $77.10. Not that big of a difference, but that's still an $8 difference, which could be enough to grab a little bit of extra firewood. Right now it's about 7 p.m. I think we'll have pizza by nine. We hauled everything back and began construction on the back porch. And by construction, I mean just stacking the bricks. First, we laid down the foundation by arranging 16 of the four x four inch bricks in a four x four pattern in order to create a sturdy base. Then, we moved on to stacking the 4x8 bricks using a running bond pattern. For the first layer, we used 8 bricks, placing 3 on the left, 3 on the right, and 2 in the rear. The second layer consisted of 7 bricks, followed by 8 bricks on the third layer and 7 bricks on the fourth layer. This alternating pattern provided both stability and a visually appealing design. For the fifth layer, we carefully placed three bricks on the rear wall in line with the existing pattern, leaving room for the first paver stone. Keep in mind that it's important to leave a small gap between the three bricks and the paver stone to ensure proper airflow for the smoke and to allow some flames to reach the upper deck. After positioning the first paver stone, we continued stacking the final two layers using the same running bond pattern. Eight bricks on the sixth layer and seven bricks on the seventh layer. With the final paver stone in place, our DIY brick oven was complete and ready for action. We added the firewood and let the oven preheat for about an hour, giving the bricks and stone plenty of time to absorb the heat. Safety is always a priority. So, we made sure to have a garden hose on standby, especially since we were dealing with temperatures beyond 800 degrees Fahrenheit. We also ensured that the oven was built at a safe distance from the wooden fences and plants. What do you think? What do you think? Oh man, we did it. We'll see what it, how it comes out, man. We will be making three pizzas to test the oven's effectiveness across different heat levels. For the first pizza, we'll cook it at a high temperature range of 800 to 900 degrees. For the second pizza, we'll lower the heat down to around 600 to 700 degrees. And for the third pizza, we'll see how it performs at a more moderate temperature range of 450 to 500 degrees. Now, onto the fun part, cooking the pizzas. For our first pizza, Chef Levon made a classic Neapolitan pizza dough topped with shredded cheese and pepperoni. The pizza started bubbling within seconds of hitting the stone. After just three quick rotations cooking at around 800 degrees Fahrenheit, the pizza was perfectly cooked in two minutes and three seconds. The oven was definitely delivering that high heat that we were aiming for. Wow, look at that. Let's see it. Oh man. That's the best one. Yeah, 
For the second pizza, we decided to experiment by reducing the flame to see how it affected the cooking time. Also, partly because we were starting to run low on firewood. As expected, the cook time was a bit longer, but it was still under 4 minutes, with a total time of 3 minutes and 55 seconds. It also required an extra rotation compared to the first pizza, as we needed to ensure even cooking without burning one side. Third pizza of the night. By the time we got to our third pizza, we were down to a small flame and hardly any firewood left. Surprisingly, even with a much lower heat level, this pizza still turned out great, though it did take around 11 minutes to cook. At around 450 degrees Fahrenheit, this is very similar to cooking a pizza on a standard home oven. But the real difference is the subtle smokiness that only comes from cooking with live flames. That touch of flame brings out a unique flavor you just can't get in a regular oven. Overall, we were really pleased with how the DIY brick oven pizza performed. It's a fun project that allowed us to build an oven easily and gave us the opportunity to work with high temperature flames to make pizza, all without breaking the bank. If you've been thinking about building one yourself, I'd say go for it. It's totally worth it. Here's what the oven looked like the morning after. The clay bricks and paver stones held up really well, even after enduring high temperatures. The beauty of this DIY brick oven pizza is its simplicity and durability. If a brick ever breaks, it's very easy to replace. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching and sharing a space with us here at our virtual table. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for next week's video, where I'll be making a full meal of Japanese fried chicken paired with Japanese potato salad. See you all in the next one.